want you to do, hopefully you have a pen and paper. And if you don't, you don't. It's just one of those things. Surrender to it. Have that pen and paper if you have it. And I just want you to look, to take yourself back just over 2020, okay? And I just, even it's like words, these are your words, these are your bullet points, these are for you, because it seems to be very important, important that Spirit is saying, they just want you to look at writing it down so that you're aware of where you are in yourself. Okay, so if we look back at 2020, okay, I want you to look back at 2020, and I want you just to jot a few words down that you don't have to create sentences because you know what those words are attached to. But what is it that you have, okay, as I just said, what has been the sticking points of 2020 for you? Has it been work, relationships, health, whatever it is, what are the sticking points? What, are the, what has kept you stuck in 2020? I know some of you have actually moved out of 2020 now into a different energy, but looking back at the last year, what has been those sticking points? points that have caused aggro problems is it people situations you know if you haven't got a pen and paper you can do it on a phone in your notes whatever it is just look at what those sticking points were in 2020 just this last year what was those sticking points is that what was frustrating i know some of you really moved out of them actually but something that kept you stuck in 2020. Let's see how that feels. And again, it's just words, bullet point words, just those words, because you know the energy around those particular words. Okay, one more minute. Because you can also do this later as well. Good, okay, right. Okay, and then they want you to look at, have you got rid of that stuckness, that frustration? Have they disappeared now? Have, they, have you let go of them? Are you working on them? Are they still there? Is it still a hassle now when we're in January? And again, it's the odd one or two words, just so that you're aware. And they just said, I just asked them, and what is it that you're willing to surrender? What is it that you're willing to surrender from that year so that you don't bring forward into January 2020? Now they know January, February is going to be the time of letting go. What is it that you want to let go? Let them work for you. What is it that you're willing to surrender? Because they're listening to you. They're trying to assist you. But sometimes the internal words get stuck in your mind and it's if you've forgotten or don't know or if you don't talk about it, it's easy to sweep under the carpet. Just have a little look at what it is that you're willing to surrender, you're willing to let go now. Right, okay, they just said this. Also, looking at that, if there is anything, an irritation or a frustration around that or mixed feelings around that. Okay, thank you. If there is a somebody in your life or there is a situation or a job or whatever it is that's going on for you that you're still stuck with but it is a bit frustrating or annoying, I want you to almost as if you had a mirror in front of you to turn it around on itself. Like what purpose is it serving? What, why is it still there? What purpose is it serving? Whatever comes to mind, it doesn't overthink, but what purpose is it serving? Why are you still allowing it 
to be in your life? What purpose is it serving? If there's areas of your life that you feel that you can't do anything about. I had a job about four years ago, hated it, kept on saying I can't leave it, I need the money to pay my bills. And then something happened, it was taken out of my hands, I lost my job. Thank God. <laughs> but just, just have a little look at it. What purpose could it still be serving? Okay. <laughs> and then they just said, if we were like a genie and you could rub the magic lamp or be the fairy godmother that she is, they just said, if I could wish, if I could give you all a wish to eat, what would it be that you'd want to take into the new year? What would you want to change in your life? What would it that you'd want for yourself in the new year? What is it? Is it health, home, love? property, material things, a new car, whatever it is, send it out there. It's for my fairy godmother and I can hear you right now. Okay, I know what I've got to do next. So just, just think about it, what it is that would bring you so much joy. Feel your heart that makes it nice and warm. Feel excited, something to look forward to. And just imagine if that was there for you now, what would that feel like if you had it in your life right now? Amazing. Just like that story, just like I told you about that beautiful woman in spirit who stepped forward and made me feel how she felt. She loved her husband so much, I could feel it in my heart. My heart felt it was about to burst. And then I was told that's how love feels. And until that moment, I really didn't know how love felt. So for yourselves, what is it that you want for yourselves? Fairy godmother is gonna listen. Have a little look, see what it is. That makes you feel wonderful, special, good. Okay.